someone recently asked me about how to create uh, these kind of overlapping layouts, which are sometimes called broken CSS grid layouts, where the columns are not uniformly spaced, items overlap, etc. And it made me realize that so far with the CSS grid videos I've been making, I've kind of only been showing how to create uniformly spaced columns. And that doesn't really actually show all of what you can do with CSS Grid. So in this video I'm just going to explain how to create a grid um, a bit more like this where you've got uh, different sized columns and you've uh, placed the elements inside at kind of interesting angles and stuff. So I'm going to use my coloured boxes again and first of all um, I'm going to create a grid, I'm going to target this grid container element and then define a set of, I think that other example used 6x5 in the usual way, and you see how what's happened is it's just created these columns and they're all uniformly spaced. And that's because by default Microthema uses the one fraction um, setting for the width of the column. And on the tutorial that I'm basing this on, um, they've defined like all sorts of different widths here, so three fraction for the first one, well, in fact I'll just type that in, um, and then etc, they've got various ones. And just to save some time in this video and to show another one of Microthema's features, uh, the code editor here, which I've enabled on the left just at the same time by using this option here, is completely interchangeable, the code here, with the options here, so I can just actually save some time and just paste paste in these rows here. Also to make, at the moment, the height of this container element is just set to auto, so I'm just going to set that to something fixed, so it's a little easier to see um, the grid lines and what's actually going on here, and now it's starting to look a little bit more like this here. And so once you've set up your grid, the number of columns, and you've sort of set your specific um, values for the widths and the heights of the rows, you then just need to um, choose an element here, say, um, okay, let's say I'm going to take number five, and I'm going to place it here, and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Uh, that will now line up with the with the um, grid here, uh, and we can easily overlap elements. Um, so I'm going to make this number eight overlap with number five. Uh, you just drag it over there. You can just drag. You can overlap them however you like. Uh, when we sometimes, if you make two items completely overlap, it's difficult to then select one element using this control panel, and that's kind of where this comes in. So if you see, you notice it puts the emphasis on number five here or number eight there. Uh, so that way I can, you can always have control over the elements. Um, but then from a, a perspective of actually rendering one, say, in front of the others, so right now we've got number eight, which is on top of number five. Uh, but what we could do is use the z-index field um, to change that. So I've set that to minus 1 on 8, and that means it comes behind number 5. So this is really useful for uh, making sure that, so if we go back to our, where was it, here. So say that uh, this image is in front of this image, um, and that's what we would do with, by setting number 8 to go behind, we're making sure this appears in front of this. And that's kind of um, most of, that's all I really need to say in order to how to create these um, interesting layouts. You you know, um, it's up to you to drag things around however you like. It's all kind of very visual and expressive. Um, yeah, so I hope that helps.